Hey guys, Mr. Why you doing? back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your RAM and your hard drive or SSD or in your Dell G3 15 inch. That's my old laptop. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is going to, let me just zoom in. I'm going to take out the old SSD, put it in my new one. Because this comes with the M.2, which is SSD and a one terabyte S normal hard drive. So I'm going to switch out the uh, hard drive, put the SSD in here and then I'm going to so I don't have to clone anything, I'm just going to use my other one as the boot drive, so hopefully it works. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to open this. So there's 10 screws at the bottom here, so you just take them all out. They're normal Phillips screwdrivers. Uh, let me just show you one. There you go. They're just normal cross heads screwdriver shit. So a normal thing will just pull it out. So I'm going to take them all off now, while I pause the video quickly. Alright guys, I've got all the screws out now. You should have... Four screws along the bottom that don't come out so they just that's just normal and then all you have to do is lift it up and there's no cable attached to it so it should be okay whereas this laptop has a cable attached to it so you have to be careful with that can you see that cable there to the top of the case this has no cables attached to it so that's really good very lucky with that so yeah i'm gonna take off the case all you do is literally lift it up and get rid of the screws so i don't lose them So remember we've got four screws down here that are fully out so just lift it in one corner should be able to just take it out that's what i said well it's the first time i'm doing this so let's see might be hard to do i'll do off camera because it's probably gonna be hard to do with one hand so yeah one second all right guys that was a pitch take to take off you have to really dig into it oh yeah you just work your way around it and then you just lift it up Should just come out. Unless these screws are I don't know if these screws are still in. I can't tell. Let's see. Not done, no. Can't tell really. I think that's done. Feels like it's gonna snap though. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, them screws don't come out. So that's the back of it. Nothing to that. And there's the hard drive. Uh, there's the PC itself. Okay, so you got two fans there, as you can see. The CPU's there, it's tiny. That's the CPU there. Got the two RAM slots there. Let me just uh, ground myself first, quickly. Okay, so we've got the normal hard drive there. Everything's covered up. You got the battery there. So one way you can be safe is take out the battery so you don't short anything but yeah there's your CMOS battery or two fans there. Alright so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'll just show you the RAM. If you're going to upgrade your RAM just take these covers off. I think I have two in here 4GB yeah. So yeah you got two 4GB one. So the way you get them out is you press squeeze in the corners and then you'll have a notch to line it up and stuff. So I've got two 4GB in there. So my switcher, I'm going to definitely switch them out, but at the moment I've not got the RAM done the way still. So you probably won't see a video again because I can't be as recording it while opening it again. It's not that hard anyway. I'm just showing you now how to do it. Or literally you just take it out and put it in again. But you line up the notch with the notch on there. There's like a mini tiny dot, let me show you. It's like a tiny dot there, can you see? That tiny dot. Why is it last focus? There you go. That tiny dot there. Right in the middle, same on that side, uh, and then over here. Okay, so the M.2, where's the M.2? Where the hell is the M.2? I'm not blind. This is under here as well. Highly doubt it. Nope, that's fully under. Yeah, the M.2 is usually here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I'm just going to show you how to take out the hard drive now. One second. Okay. So, let me actually give you more light. Zoom in there. Alright, so that's how you do it, guys. You want to disconnect your hard drive cable first, which I'm doing. Which I've done anyway. I'll show you that. You literally just uh, lift this tab up. Can you see that tab there? Lift it up and it comes out. Simple as that. And then you got three screws to take out, which is this one here. That black one there, that black one there, and that black one there. 
So you take them out, lift it up, and then you got the four screws around it like a normal caddy. So these ones here, you want to take them out and then put the new hard drive in, then uh, reinsert all the screws and then reattach the cable. That's it, simple as that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, guys, so we took it out, took out all the screws on the side, like I said. Uh, there's the old hard drive. You want to take this casing off, this thing off. That's the reader for that laptop. So you just want to simply lift it out. I got chubby hands, so I might get someone else to do it. So just be able to lift it out. Come on, man. Oh, there you go. There you go. Simple as that. So this is the old hard drive now. Well, the new hard drive. This is HDD, so it's one terabyte. We're going to swap it with the crucial SSD from our old laptop. And literally, you put it in upwards. So this end will have the connector bit. Then you attach this to it, put the screws back on and literally place it back in place there and connect the motherboard connector. Now guys, new hard drive's in. That's the new hard drive. And my old one's in there. The tissue is in there. All you do is connect that connector back up and then put the screws back in. Well, the screws are in now. Uh, you just need to get the case, push it back on place. So you just squish it together. Keep pressing it hard and then it's in. Simple. Easy to take off, easy to put on. And then you screw it all back up, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Goodbye.